Hey, this is Matthew Butler, and this is how to add snow to your After Effects template. So when you open it, you have this Add Snow. You can open that up, and you have this Control Panel. And you just click on that, and it'll bring up all the effects that you need to do to edit all your styles. And then below that are eight different styles of snow falling. So you can sample each one and figure out how you want your snow to fall in your scene, and based on that, you can use the controls to modify it. Or you can mix and match and add like two at the same time, but um, that can get a little uh, crazy with the amount of snow. So I'd, I'd recommend just choosing one style at a time. Then after that, you can go up to controls and add motion blur and add depth of field. Um, so you just click the checkboxes, and if you want to add depth of field and motion, I would recommend doing that after everything's done, because it takes a little bit of uh, render time when you add all those. And then next, here is the depth of field percent. So in general, it's set at 100, but if you want like really out of focus, Boku kind of shot, you can increase that or decrease it. And obviously this is random seed, so you can randomly choose different ways the snow falls and then below that is the snow amount so if you want um, a lot of snow or just a little snow you can modify that but in general um, I the starting place is 100 and you can go up from there or down and then finally the snowflake size if you want to increase or decrease the snowflakes um, and then as you can see if you jump around to different styles, you'll notice different snowflake um, setups. Um, so in general, remember uh, snowflake size is also set to 3 as the default. Um, then let's just run a little sample here with the settings we just set up. And there you go, you got uh, style number 4 and it's all customized to exactly how you needed it. And then if you want style 3, you got that, and it has the same settings as you just had, the snowflake size and everything, it just transfers over. Um, it's just a different way that the snow falls. So if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them, but this is pretty straightforward, and it should get you exactly what you need to add snow to your scenes. Thanks.